I'll do a tall, hot caramel marvel with, do you have almond milk? We do. Okay, perfect. I'll do it with almond milk, but still with whip, please. Okay. Awesome, thank you. Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second grade teacher in West Michigan, and it is the start of week two, and I'm excited. I feel like this morning has already been very, very busy. I went to the gym this morning with one of my friends, and then I went to pick up some coffee, and then I went to the grocery store. I had all sorts of things going on. I did not do like a full grocery shop, but I just needed lunch for today. I am wearing this nice, light, airy dress today, and then one of my friends just French braided my hair so it can stay out of my face. It is supposed to be very very hot today it's already very very hot in my classroom so I'm a little nervous for that I did buy some like little freeze pop popsicles that I have in the freezer so hopefully that will help to cool us down a little bit later today when we need it but yes I'm a little bit nervous about that it's gonna be a very warm very sticky day but that's okay we're gonna roll with it I'll show you my outfit really quick in the mirror and then it'll be time for me to finish up the last couple things before the kids get here so here we go actually I might be able to just show you like this here's the dress it is from a boutique that's name I can't remember and then I have my Amazon heels and then my little braid, and then I didn't put my rings on yet, but I will in just a moment. So yes, that's the outfit for today. Okay, so now it is Wednesday, and yesterday was extremely hot. It was like in the 90s outside, and it was absolutely unbearable inside my classroom. It's supposed to be warm all week. I'm really, really hoping that today is better than yesterday because it makes it so hard to teach, so hard for the kids to learn when it is 90 degrees inside our classroom, and there was like no breeze. It was just really not fun. Okay, so this is my dress for today. I actually have this dress in three different colors. I have it in blue, pink, and green, and I love it. It is super light and airy so for these hot hot days like today it's already super hot in my classroom even though it is first thing in the morning it did not cool off overnight so we're just going with it for these hot hot days it is helping to make it a little bit more manageable to wear really light things like this and then my favorite Amazon heels that I've been wearing like pretty much every day they're just super chunky super comfy and yeah I really like those so those are from Amazon and that is the outfit for today and then I just braided my hair into one little braid in the back to keep it out of my face Okay, here is the outfit for today. Again, these Amazon heels. Every day I can like run all around in these. They're so comfortable. And I just like that they're a little bit more dressy, but again, just super comfortable. And then another really lightweight dress that I can run all around in that is very airy. And some little biker shorts underneath like I always do. So yes, that's the outfit for today. And then I don't know if you can really tell, but my hair is in a bubble braid in the back. And then I have these really cute earrings on that I got from, I can't remember if I got these from Amazon or from Etsy but they're really, really cute. They're just like little expo markers. And a couple of my coworkers have similar ones, but in different colors. So kind of fun that we all have the same earrings. So yes, that's the outfit for today. Okay, I don't think I shared this in a video yet. I did share it on my Instagram, but this is my peace path. I made this using Canva and basically it's when two students need to work things out. They can come over here and there's some sentence starters. So this person starts and then it tells the other person what to do. So there's little numbers and it goes in order of like, like whose turn it is to talk and the kids put their feet on those little like feet marks and yeah it's been working really well this was an idea I saw on TikTok and there are already some for sale on Teachers Pay Teachers so I will not be selling mine because like I said I made it on Canva so I don't have like the rights to any of that clip art or anything but yeah I really like how it turned out so that is my peace path also for Hispanic Heritage Month I received this super cute shirt this is from Teacher Noir I follow their Instagram page and this is just like the coolest shirt ever. It has different leaders in the Latinx community and oh my gosh, I just love it. And then also she sent over some other goodies too. So here are some of the other things, some stickers, which I actually already grabbed one of the stickers to put it on my laptop. And then some earrings that are so cute and then these little pins, which are so fun. Okay, so I just edited all of the vlog up until this point and I know it was quite short and now I am coming at you. It is October, it is October 8th as I'm filming this portion of the vlog and it has been many weeks since the second week of school but honestly I've just been trying to stay above water with trying to get my master's right now and I'm also doing my letters training I'm a co 
cooperating teacher for the first time and my class this year has definitely been pretty high need and so I am just trying to survive and I feel like if you're a teacher you definitely understand and you've had years like this as well so I'm just trying to stay positive and remember that you know it's all about ups and flows and hopefully things will get easier but it's been a lot so far though I do have a little silver lining I was able to take my first personal day on Friday and it was much needed so here's a reminder to you to use your days you have them for a reason and I was able to take a personal day to go to South Haven Michigan which I've been there several times before but it's been a few years since I've been there last and I actually was invited to go there and to stay there as part of like an influencer event which is so random um so surreal but it was a really really cool experience and yeah totally would not change it for the world it was an awesome way to spend a day off and so I did take some little clips and I want to insert them so you guys can see a little bit about that and then I also posted about it a lot more over on my Instagram so I will insert the clips right now so you can see what South Haven looks like one of the absolute best things about South Haven is going down and seeing the boat and the boardwalk and watching the sunset so of course we had to do that while we were there and we stayed in carriage house at the harbor this was our view from our room it was absolutely gorgeous and it was our first experience with a bed and breakfast the breakfast was amazing so yes, that was a super cool opportunity to get to know some other content creators from Michigan and then also there were people there from like Wisconsin and Illinois and stuff too, which was really cool. So that was an awesome opportunity and it just felt so good to take a day off and just do something for me and get to spend time with my husband. And yeah, it was a really, really good day. And yeah, so that was super fun. Definitely would love to plan a trip back there sometime soon. And other than that, it has, like I said, just been super hectic. So if you are somebody who has done your letters training specifically I would love to know like any pointers or resources that you have that maybe made it like more manageable or easier to organize or anything like that I know that so many people have commented that they've done their letters training before so I would love to know in a comment below if that's true for you anything that helps you to keep that organized would be awesome coming up this week we have spirit week so I definitely want to make sure that I film that and I filmed like so many little vlog clips over the past several weeks but just not enough to actually like make a vlog so it is what it is oh well I know this vlog will be a little bit shorter shorter but I figured it's better to get something up and just get it out there into the world than nothing so yes I will be filming this week for spirit week I already laid out all my outfits I'm super excited about it and I just love spirit week I feel like it's such a great way for me to just be fun with my outfits and with my kids and just I don't know to kind of build like that school spirit so yeah I'm super excited about that and I will be vlogging like I said so anyways thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below to let me know how your school year is going so far and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.